Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will talk about how we can fix the critical process diet blue screen error in both Windows 10 and Windows 11. So before we can start uh, with the troubleshooting, just make sure to first restart your computer. Well, sometimes a simple restart will fix um, or can resolve a temporary issues. And if you are getting a blue screen after restarting your computer, your computer will force into boot option. I mean advanced option, uh, something like this. So just click on troubleshoot. Then after that, um, just go to advanced option. Then you will have an option to click anything from here. So the first one will be, you can also try to click on startup repair. Then after clicking on or selecting startup repair, your computer will automatically boot up. Then after that, it will try to uh, fix the, the system, um, the, the file system of your computer. If that didn't work, uh, you can go to command prompt, then just follow my steps. Before you can have this uh, command prompt, it will ask you to um, type in your password. So just simply type in your password and you will have this. So just follow the, the steps that I'll be providing. First will be uh, just type in um, SFC scan now. That will be SFC scan now. Then enter. What will do, what this um, command do, um, it will try to fix the system files on your computer. So usually it will only take uh, a few minutes of your time, like probably uh, 10 to 15 minutes. Okay. So just wait for it. Let's just... I'll just wait for it. So it is finished. Once it is done, uh, the next uh, command will be uh, the boot rack. Um, the boot rack that exe uh, functions as a utility tool. Um, it will be used to troubleshoot issues in the Windows recovery environment. Okay, just type boot rack forward slash fix MBR, then enter. Okay, then after that, just type boot rack space forward slash fix boot and enter again that will be boot rack remove the I misspelled it incorrectly so that will be boot rack forward slash fix boot then enter uh, no worries if you are getting any access is denied uh, just ignore it again that will boot sack forward slash and the 60 this then enter okay so as you can see that it is successfully updated NTFS system files boot code the last one will be boot rack space forward slash rebuild then enter okay then after entering that um it doesn't end on that command. The next command will be um, just type in the DISCM. That will be DISM. It's COPS. DISM space forward slash online forward slash cleanup image space forward slash restore health okay then just press enter okay and after doing that um, uh, just wanted to let you know that uh, this command actually uh, can help fix issues with the Windows image okay the next command will be just type the, the check disk that will be check disk F then R 
then press and enter. The check disk will try to repair and um, scan for system files um, issues. Well, in any case, after um, doing all of the, the commands and you are still getting the same problem, like the blue screen, um, you can go ahead and go to advanced option again, then click on troubleshoot, then click on advanced option. Then after that, uh, you can actually select on uninstall updates, especially if the problem occurs after updating um, the, the Windows operating system. So you can click on an uninstall updates, then select on un uninstall latest quality update. Okay. Um, you can also check the uh, restore point of your computer. So this will be the system restore, this one. Just click on it. Uh, just wait for it. Then next. Then as you can see that this computer is actually has a restore point. Well, in any case, if you don't have the system restore option, uh, the last option will be resetting your computer. Just go to troubleshoot again, then select on reset this PC. Then it will give you an option to keep your files or remove everything. It really depends on you. Then, for example, I wanted to keep my files. Then it will give you an option to um, install it using cloud or local reinstall. Uh, it's better to choose on local reinstall. It will be easier. Just click on local reinstall. Then it will automatically reset your PC. So that will be the last option on how to fix the blue screen. Um, in any case, if the uh, the reset PC didn't work, um, I think the, the last resort will be um, reinstall the, the operating system. I mean, you need to create a bootable uh, USB device, then just clean reinstall the computer, the operating system, and that will do it. So I hope you find this video helpful and um, if you have any questions, you can just comment down below and I'll try to answer everything. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel.